While the pandemic has led to a decline in economic activity, any effect on emissions is only temporary and ultimately insignificant. But the tragedy of COVID-19 has also given us an unexpected opportunity for a reset. COVID relief and recovery investments can spur a green transition. Policies to strengthen societies to face pandemics or other shocks can be a catalyst for sustainability. Pandemic recovery and climate action must be two sides of the same coin. The two tests of leadership today is to show climate ambition, take climate action, mobilize climate finance, and demonstrate climate solidarity. It's very important that they take the right decisions. There's plenty of time for that, that they take the right decisions. They prepare their commitments and they join this alliance for carbon neutrality in the middle of the century. That is an appeal that I make to every single country in the world. I really welcome the fact that uh, the new uh, administration decided to rejoin the Paris Agreement on the first day. And uh, uh, simultaneously, uh, uh, the, um, uh, Joe Biden has announced a number of other measures. Uh, uh, we look forward for uh, a very active U.S. leadership in climate action uh, from now on, as uh, uh, the U.S. leadership is absolutely essential. Uh, the United States is the largest economy in the world. It's absolutely essential uh, for our goals to be reached. Uh, we still need to bring on board several big emitters. We need still to be able to have a much stronger mobilization of uh, uh, the business community, uh, the financial sector, the asset managers. We are moving in this direction. There are good signals. Uh